Come on in. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. This is indeed the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. We are experiencing a holy time, and it is Holy Week. Amen. And we're going to keep Holy Week holy. I want to start this broadcast off by, first of all, I'm dedicating this to Dr. Alberta Johnson, my grandmother. A woman in my life who just, she was the most influential woman in my life. And I know I wouldn't be doing half the things that I do in ministry without her leaving a legacy of faith. Her legacy of faith is what I feel the weight of the responsibility to pass on. And so I want to talk to you today just a little bit about that legacy of faith and being able to model who we are. Uh, what God has called us to do in uh, these last and evil days. Come on here. Well, it's a good God bless you to you. Let's uh, get on up. Let's get through it on this Thursday so we can get to it and what God has called us to. If this is your first time joining me, well, I'm so grateful that you are. This is Dr. Remy, your spiritual midwife, and we base everything off of 10 at 10, when we think about John 10 and 10, right? The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. We get it. I need you to prepare. But Christ came that we might have life and that more abundantly. So no matter what the enemy has planned for this day, it ain't going to work. Y'all come on in and say good morning to me. Come on here, tag somebody. Let's go on and let's get with it on today. God bless your prophetess, Ronnie's. Come on here, talk back to me. It just won't work. Whatever the enemy has planned, because Christ came, listen, I'm walking in my more prosperous life on today. Why? Because everywhere he shed his blood, he broke the yoke of bondage. He broke the curse and it has ended so that we can begin afresh. It has ended so that we can go on and do what he called us to do. Y'all say good morning to Dr. Remy. It's a brand new day of grace and morning, grace and mercy on this morning. Do you hear what I'm saying? I decree and declare that this is the season of man. This is the season where we are paying attention. God bless you, Ambassador Hannah. I love you. Thank you for joining me this morning. God bless you, son. Hey, Timothy, God bless you. It just won't work. It just won't work. I need you to open up your mouth. I need you to decree and declare. It ain't going to work. That, all the negativity, all of the foolishness, all the plotting and the planning, all the demise, mm -mm, ain't none of that going to work. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life. This is the time to put it over your doorpost, keep the death angel out. It's all in what we say. I, I believe God. I know that what he did was not in vain. And so I do not have to suffer. I do not have to uh, continue to repeat uh, the same cycles. I will not walk around in the wilderness for 40 years, listening here, being hard hearted and mad and bitter about stuff that really don't matter. I plead the blood over it. It just won't work. I knew you was going to get with me about that when I promised to tell you the truth. This is the day that we are winning. I want everybody to say this. God bless you, Ambassador Drusilla. Thank you. It ain't going to work. Come on here. Good morning, woman of God. Mother Anita, God bless you, woman of God. Listen, I want to just say this. Luke 17, uh, 20 and 21. Now, when he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God uh, does not come with observation. Listen, 21. Nor will they say, see here or see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. 
Listen, you better go ahead and know the strategies of the kingdom. You better go ahead and work the plan of God. I'm trying to tell you the truth. I was looking uh, on the news. Why would you do that? Looking on the news and all. Hey, good morning to you, Prophetess Jane. Uh, looking at all the warfare, all the, the distractions, all the hatred, all the bitterness that's going on, even in the Holy Land, you know, the fighting, the missiles, the stuff. I'm like, it's holy. It's Holy Week. That's why the Lord told me uh, to tell all of you, let's keep Holy Week holy. But did you think that the enemy wasn't going to try to send out uh, 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 folk around that was going to uh, uh, be disloyal, that was going to try to cause strife? It's a spirit. It ain't even them. God bless you. And good morning to you, Ambassador LaSager. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Do you hear what I'm saying? First of all, I'm going to put a, a pause in it. Every single one of you, like and share. Let's wake up somebody this morning. Come on here. I plead the blood on it. God bless you. I'm praying for you. That's my daughter, Ambassador Heather. We're praying for you. We're praying for your family. Amen. And I'm so grateful that you have the ability to use your tools. I'm going to give you one that you got to use today. I plead the blood. Come on here. Oh, my goodness. Hey, David. How you doing, man of God? I see it. Ambassador Marvin, I'm going to get it, but in the spirit, you know you, David. Amen. I plead the blood. Somebody just do it right now. Uh, see, because what we say, Minister Melody, what we say is what we're going to see. So I plead the blood. I plead the blood over my doorpost. I plead the blood over my children, my children's children. I plead the blood over my relationships, my husband, my wife. Come on here, my business partners. My, I plead the blood. I want y'all to hear. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, use it. It works, baby. The enemy is plotting and planning. He ain't trying to play a uh, uh, tag with you. He's not playing games. He Listen, he wants to kill you. That's what I said. John 10 and 10, the enemy comes to what? Kill, steal, and destroy. But Christ came. Mm -hmm. Come on here, that we might have life and that more abundantly. I'm going after the abundant life. The kingdom of heaven is in me. Come on here. I will not let hell rage in me when the kingdom is in me. What is you talking about? Well, I'm trying to tell you, you get so mad, mad at the firecracker. You got an attitude. You're mad at everybody. Come on here. But you need to remember who you are. I plead the blood. I plead the blood over my mind, over my emotions, over my heart. Why? Because that's my insurance policy. That's my coverage. Come on here. That keeps me out of all hurt, harm, or danger. This is the stuff that we need to be able to teach our children. Can I just challenge you side? bar if you have not or if you have come on this is the time uh, that we need to uh watch the passion of the christ i know it's bloody i know it's hard to watch but the truth is if he went through it we can look at it and remember come on here the blood still works and it was no weakness on his part god bless you ambassador t so i'm just talking to y'all today i came up out of uh, luke 17 uh, 20 and 21 talking about the kingdom of heaven is on the inside of you well if the kingdom is on the inside of me then why am i so mad oh i'm so glad you asked Listen, if the kingdom of heaven is on the inside of me, uh, uh, then when I, why I'm feeling this way, because we need to plead the blood. See, this is the year. Come on here. Uh, your mouth is the birth channel. It keeps shy of what it is that you're going to see, what it is that's going to happen to you. I want you to open up your mouth. I cancel the plan of the enemy. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. I am happy. Come on here. I am joyful. I have an emotional plan uh, to win. Listen, you can tell all your enemies, whatever you was planning to do, go ahead. Do it quickly because this is my promotion season. Some Somebody should put that down there right now. This is my season of promotion. I'm going forward. I'm getting in the position. How do I get in position? Through prayer. I told everybody, hey, that's my daughter. God bless you, Ambassador Keisha. Thank you for joining me on today. Uh, get in the position of prayer. I know this ain't no popular word, but I promise you it's the right a breakthrough word. You want to break the yoke of the enemy and the fight and all of that. You feel the tension. You feel the stress. You feel the fight. Uh, it's like, Lord Jesus, why does this thing so heavy on me? Am I talking to anybody? Change your 
position. Get in a position of prayer. Lay prostrate out. I told everybody on Sunday, uh, 12 minutes, come on here, lay the sheet out. Don't lay in the bed, lay on the floor, uh, lay down, come on here. Uh, what it does is a sign of surrender. God, I surrender this issue. I I, I, I surrender this fight. I, I surrender all this thing. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit fight for me, war for me. I'm going to lay it down at your feet. Uh, somebody, I'm changing my position. My posture is prayer. And then can I help you? It's not even about how long you pray to what you You can lay out before the Lord and get quiet. Make your petition known and then say, Look. God, I'm going to lay here and listen. I'm going to lay here and let you work on my heart. I'm going to lay here and let you work on my body. I'm going to just lay here before you, oh God. I'm leaving it at your feet. Am I talking to anybody? Get in the position of prayer. And see, that's it. You'll lose some friends when you talk about it because, see, uh, we don't want to change positions. We want to stay in the same. Mm -mm. That's pride, baby. We're on the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. It's getting the pride out. It's get, I talked about it at the beginning of the week. We can't be puffed up with pride. We got to lay prostrate. We got to lay humble. We Anything that make you rise up, are you dealing with anything that making your flesh rise up? Come on here. Oh, that tries to easily get you all, get you to say something, get you, listen, the, the curse your own fruit, the devil is a lie. Nope, nope, nope. I might not like what's going on, but I'm going to bless you. I'm going to speak life over you. I'm, I'm going to speak. I'm going to call those things that be not as though they were. Who am I talking to? Get some oil on your hands. Go ahead. Go touch them. Touch their feet. Touch their head. Touch the doorknobs. My grandmother, my God, would take the oil and she would, listen, we would always know if she ain't knock on the door, uh, she would turn around and take that oil and she would put it on the doorknob. She'd put it on the steps. Come on here. She'd put it on the driveway. Uh, we look at our tires. We know she had been there. We could see the sign of the cross. I'm talking to somebody on today. See, we don't do do that anymore, but there is power uh, in prayer and the shortening of power with that oil. Do you got some oil, baby? Listen, we cannot fight folk. Uh, 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 weapons of our warfare, come on here, are carnal, but we got to pull down. Come on here. We got to pull down these vain imaginations with these high places. Come on here. We got to go with it with prayer. Yeah, wherever the king has dominion, that's where the kingdom is. Wherever the king has dominion, that's where the kingdom is. What do you mean by that? Wherever the Holy Spirit dwells, wherever God dwells, he dwells on the inside of you. So this is where the, the kingdom is. Do you hear me? Uh, the, the kingdom is uh, 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 not uh, 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 bread or water. Come on here. Uh, the kingdom does not uh, food or drink. Come on here. Oh, I want you to understand. It's righteousness, peace, love, and joy. I decree and declare that I got, the, I'm going to hold on to my peace. I'm going to hold on to the righteousness. I'm going to hold on right relationships. I, I made a decision to have an emotional plan. I'm almost done. I, I want you to understand, we got to go ahead and work on this angry spirit. We got to work on uh, this thing. See, the enemy wants you to spit venom. He wants you to talk stuff uh, that don't line up with the word of God. But I decree and declare that this is the point of reference that we're going to operate in the spirit of love. This is the time that I'm like, Lord, I need you to pull out all of the vain thinking. I need you to pull out all of the strongholds. Anywhere my heart has gotten hardened, will you tender my heart? Somebody said, Lord, make me tender again. Help me to feel again. Help me to love again. Hey, God bless you, Ambassador Rhonda. Can I get you to be real? God, touch uh, the hard places of my heart. Oh, my God, touch uh, my areas, oh, God, where I've been wounded and sad. Come on here. Deal with me right now. John 19, 28 and 30. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, the scriptures might be fulfilled, said, I uh, thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there and the field of sponge of sour wine and put the hyssop and put it on his mouth. And so when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. Come on here. Bowing his head, he gave up uh, the spirit. Uh, the spirit. But listen, I want you to go through your assignment. 
I don't want you to sit here. I don't want you to get so frustrated when you throw in the towel. No, baby, I want you to press in. I want you to press in, press toward the mark of the high calling of the Lord. Somebody, see, this is what I say all the time. And if you believe it, I want you to put it on the screen right now. I, I live in a place called Gun. Why? Because right there at that place, uh, Jesus did it. He paid it all. It's finished. It's a finished work. Oh, my God. Uh, where y'all at today that y'all don't want to talk back to me? It's a finished work. I live in a place called Dunn. The Lord is already working it out on my behalf. I, listen, he's got something that's so planned for me after this. It's so big. That's why the enemy is warring against you. That's why he's trying to cause division. That's why he's trying to get you to walk away. He's trying to cause you to quit, but not so. I decree and declare we sticking and staying. We getting to the other side. We getting to where the power of the Pentecost shows up. Come on here. But we got to do the work. We've got to do the work. We got to carry this cross, baby. We got to go ahead and hold our peace and let the Lord fight our battles. Am I talking to anybody on today? Listen, I decree and declare I, it's a finished work. I live in a place called done. It's done. I'm healed already. It's done. I, my finances in place. It's already done. The bills are paid. Debt's demolished. It's done. This fight and struggle is over. My God, we walk in the spirit of agreement. It's a finished work. Come on here. I got the job. I got the position. I'm just waiting for the call. I'm waiting for the day of the opening. Come on here. It's the season of the open door. Oh, my God. Let me go on up in here because y'all don't want to talk to me today. I decree and declare uh, that the spirit, my God, of abortion and procrastination is dismissed. The spirit of abortion means all of the creative stuff that God has told you to do. You will not, just because it's been hard, just because it's been challenged. Listen, can I just say this? That if everybody could do it, they would. But you've been handpicked for this. You've been created to complete this. I decree and declare. Somebody, everybody that's on this line, say, I will not procrastinate anymore. The spirit of procrastination is broken. I'm going to get to it so I can get through it. Come on here. I, I decree and declare. I'm just going to see that fight trying to keep you up from going on to do what you need to do. That heavy spirit, that weighty thing, that tired spirit. I rebuke it right now. I speak energy and synergy to you on this morning. I Somebody say, I feel this synergy and the energy. The Holy Spirit is pushing me into my next. Holy Ghost, show up. Come on here. Y'all share this with somebody right here. I decree and declare that, listen, this procrastination are dismissed. Their powers is destroyed. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hey, Prophetess Marjorie, God bless you, woman of God. I see you doing the doggone thing, living your best life. I decree and declare I will fulfill all assignments. I need everybody to say this right now because this spirit of trying to make you quit. No, 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 no. I want you to say, I will fulfill all my assignments with excellence and punctuality. I will fulfill all of my assignments with excellence and punctuality. Uh, past failures are behind me. I am not trapped by an event. Come on here. Oh, I decree. I will not be dragged off the stage of my future. I fearlessly operate in the now of God. Some might say right now on this day, I'm in the now of God, the, uh, the all-knowing God. Oh my God, the king of the universe. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is your Moedim in Hebrew. This is your appointed time, your appointment with God this week. Get to the feet of Jesus. Good God bless you. Little Richard, I love you. He's doing his perfect work. Did you hear me? There you go, Prophetess Ronnie's. I will fulfill all my assignments with excellence and punctuality. I will not be late. Come on here. Oh, there's about to be a curtain call and I will not be delayed. Come on here. I fearlessly operate in the now of God. It's my now season. I need everybody up on here uh, to testify to this. It's my now season. It's my time. It's my turn. 
It's my season. I'm pushing through this, baby. I decree and declare. I've been waiting for this moment all of my life. Today is filled with goodness. Today is filled with grace. Today is filled with more than enough. Today, I have all that I need. Today, come on here, right? Divine partnerships are coming to me. My prophetic Goshen is lining up with me. Come on here, uh, uh, folk that are coming to underwrite this vision. Why? This vision is a God-sized vision. It's too big for me by myself, but God is sending a master team. He's sending them in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. He will finish that which he has started. Somebody said, I feel my help coming on. I feel the power of God. I feel the angels working on my behalf. Oh my God. I feel Ekishiah. I can hear the angels. They're taking your name in the wind. Uh, your name is being mentioned in boardrooms. You ain't never stepped in. There is pro oh, prosperity. There are assignments that are coming to you. I can't tell you enough that this is your season of assignment. This is your season, my God, that you don't want to blow it here. You don't want to blow it with an angry spirit. You don't want to blow it being slowful, slow walking in. That's why the enemy is trying to push back. But I decree and declare as your midwife, I'm telling you, this is your now season. I want you to write that thing. I want you to say that thing. Come on here and I want you to go after it. It's already done. Go in like you own it already. Go ahead and look at it. Oh my God. I decree and declare real estate is coming to us. I decree and declare million dollar ideas are being released to us in this holy season. Why? Uh, because the kingdom is here. It's now. It's on the inside of me. Uh, the Lord already, my precious Savior already bled, died. He paid the price. Why? So that I could live a more abundant life. I'm going after the abundant life. Come on here. I'm tapping into the plan of God. Who's with me? It's my now season. I know what it might feel like. I know what it might look like, but I decree and declare the Lord said, call it. I got the uh, DNA of God. I have the ability to listen, to say what I don't see. My God, I can say it. He said, let there be light. And then there was light. What are you calling for today? I'm calling for today that my day is filled with abundance of joy. My day is filled with all kind of help and support. I'm calling in my God that I'm ready to run through troops and leap over walls. I, I got the energy and the synergy to get it done. I'm trying to tell you when you just begin to walk in the authority of the ambassadorship that's on your life. Do you really know who you are? Uh, you better go ahead and swing back. Swing back at the enemy. Swing back with these words. Come on here. Give him a punch in the eye. It's like, golly, I thought that we had surely got him now. I, surely we didn't got her now. You know, you were sitting off in the quiet, in the cut. Ain't mad. Ain't saying nothing. Come on here, Minister Kippy. But I decree and declare that this is the day that the Lord has has made uh, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I'm talking about good God, I reckon. I'm talking about an inheritance of blessings. My grandmother, I'm, I'm stepping uh, uh, not from uh, ground up, listen here, uh, but there was a trailblazer that went before me that stayed in the face of God that had a relationship. I would talk about when love speaks. My God, they had a relationship that when they began to, uh, she began to pray uh, and talk talk to him. Uh, he loved her so much. He would just respond to her. He would tell her the secret things. My God, we would say, how did you find that out? How did you get that re uh, a revelation? I'm talking about somebody say, I'm leaving a legacy blessing. I decree and declare a legacy blessing, not just for me, but my children. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh my God. I decree and declare uh, 13 generations after me. My God will still understand. Oh, when love speaks. I, I think about Nanny. Come on here, uh, uh, Rhonda. When I think about uh, just being in her presence uh, uh, of all the love that she would show, you just wanted to hang out with her. See, the closer you get to Jesus, uh, the more anointing that's on you. It, it doesn't repel people. It draws people to you. You ain't got to be flashy. You ain't got to be over the top. You just need more love. I decree and declare I'm still blessed. Uh, uh, there are people who are still that have the 
Jonathan uh, relationship. Uh, they trying to bless me because of the relationship that they had with my grandmother. I decree and declare I'm leaving a legacy blessing. I have the responsibility to keep the torch going forward. I have the responsibility. Come on here so that the lineage will be blessed. I need somebody to hear that I keep pushing. I keep waking up. I keep going in. I keep serving. I keep sowing. I keep building. Why? I'm building legacy. There's a legacy blessing that's attached to my praise. There's a legacy blessing. Y'all better come on up in here. I see you, Ambassador Nene. I decree and declare there's a legacy blessing. All them grandchildren, my God, I decree and declare. They're going to say my grandmother was a praying mother. Uh, my grandmother uh, uh, was a blessed woman. I never knew how a nanny could get so much stuff done, uh, how she could go uh, all over the world, uh, uh, how she had relationships. She could go up. I could get a job. I could go shopping. I could get things, listen, on her credit, on her name. Y'all don't hear me. I'm talking about legacy. Legacy. Today, today is her uh, uh, heavenly birthday. Golly, I promise you. I remember the things that she would say to me. She said, I promise you, before I miss God, I wish you'd come and get me now. I, 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 I'm talking about when you got love that speaks and said, I, my whole life is based upon being able to see and have a relationship with God. She said, before I miss him, I want you to come and get me. And I would be like, oh, no, 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 Nanny. God bless you, Ambassador uh, Tana May. Thank you for joining me. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for healing for you. I decree and declare I'm I'm standing in agreement that those kidneys begin to function and work the way uh, that the Lord designed it to be. I decree and declare this is Holy Week. I want you to lay hands on those kidneys. I speak to them right now with the authority that God has given me to speak to your kidneys, that they'll begin to function the way God designed them to function. Sickness and disease is far from you. I feel the legacy blessing just walked up in the room. The ability to take authority over sickness and disease. Why? Because the blood still works. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood over every area of our life. Sickness and disease, he said, is far from me. I need you to speak that thing in the in the hospital, woman of God. I want you to say it. Oh, no weapons formed against me. I'm coming up out of here better. Little Richard, I decree and declare, here comes your release. God, whatever you're trying to teach me, wherever you're trying to get me, I surrender my will to your will. Oh my God. I, uh, many of you are in the garden of Gethsemane. You're wrestling with your next assignment. Uh, what God is calling you to, you're wrestling with it. And it's not the now time. Uh, uh, maybe somebody else should do it, but I decree and declare that after this broadcast, it will be the not my will, but thine will be done. Uh, that I'm going to get myself out of the way. That I'm in agreement with what God says. I'm in agreement with what God is is doing in my life, in my family's life, in my partner's life, in my children's life, in my ministry. I don't care what it looked like. Some things look so bad right now. It looked like it's a mess. It looks like it, it's the opposite of what you saying, but I want you to keep speaking to it. I want you to say, listen here, I'm coming out of this and I plead the blood. Uh, I hear mm, 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 angels uh, over my head. It keeps shy. I hear music. It keeps shy. I want you to tap being with the ear of, of being able to hear what God is saying. This is your midwife. I need you to press in, press past how you feel, press past what it looks like, press past. It's nothing but the enemy, but I decree and declare what does God say in Jeremiah 29 and 11. He turns around and he says, I got a plan for you. Well, what's your plan, God? He said, my plan is to prosper you. My plan, it shy. Is not not to let nothing harm you, hurt you. My plan is to give you a hope and the future. I decree and declare that not only is today gonna be good, uh, but every day after this gonna be good. I decree.
decree and declare he's strengthening me. Uh, I decree and declare I'm coming out better than I was before. Who am I talking to? Am I talking to you? I feel a legacy blessing springing forth like a whale. Oh my God, I decree. That's it. The mess is a perfect stage for the miracle. I decree and declare, step up. The lights is on. You about to be a, a commercial for the kingdom of heaven. This warfare, my God, uh, uh, did not come to kill you or destroy you. Uh, uh, what the enemy meant for evil, God says, I'm going to take all of it uh, and work it out for my good. Uh, but I need you to speak the word of God, not your feelings, not what it looks like, but speak what God says. He said, my God, I am, I'll make you the head and not the tail. I'll make you above and not beneath. It keeps shy. I'll bless you coming in. I'll bless you going out. I'll bless you in the field. I, I ble Listen, he said, I'll bless you no matter where you're at. Wherever you are right now, here comes my blessing. Somebody said, I'm, however you decide to bless me, Lord, I'm satisfied. Can I speak to you about having a satisfied spirit? God, I decree and declare, if you won't do nothing else for me, you sent your only begotten son so that I might be saved. Absolutely. I will not let this reality do. Absolutely. I don't care what they saying over you, son. You shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Listen, I decree and declare you coming out of this better than you went in. I decree and declare that the healing blood, the DNA of Christ is in your bloodline. I decree and declare the blood still works. I need somebody, everybody to talk about this thing. The blood still works. I'm satisfied. God's been so good to me. He's been better to me than I've been better to myself. He, he, he done opened up doors that I know I didn't qualify. He done took me to places that I only dreamt about and he's allowed me to go. And I'm trying to tell you, baby, I didn't come this far to quit now. I didn't come this far to think that it wasn't going to work. Absolutely. I'm just speaking it. I'm saying it. I, why? Because I believe it. The blood still works. Somebody need to get the vocabulary of the vocabulary of the king, of the blood of Jesus, all of my stuff. You got the accusers. You got people who want to say stuff, throw slow, sly remarks and all that kind of stuff, trying to take you off your square. No, baby, the blood still works. Uh, I, that might be, I might have been guilty, but I'm guilty no longer. Come on here. I've been free from that. Uh, the blood still works. I, I might have failed because they said a good man falls seven times, but I promise you, you just need to get back up. Who what am I talking to? Y'all should tag somebody because this is going to help them. Uh, I'm trying to tell you there is no condemnation. I'm going before the Lord laying out prostrate and fill me again. They you used to talk about daddy would sing them songs, you know, fill my cup, Lord, and let it overflow. Fill me up. Hey, shy. I can see her sitting in a chair and when the spirit would hit her, uh, she would just go to kicking, doing her chair, doing her feet. She was a little lady, four feet, 11, but powerful. Uh, listen here, but I can see the anointing of God. She was humble. Uh, she would anoint her last assignment at the embassy. Uh, she got all the leaders together and they all walked one up at a time and she poured the oil on their heads. See, I'm talking about legacy blessing. I'm talking about le legacy blessing that even uh, in the natural and in the spirit, she anointed the children. Oh my God, a mother of Zion. We got to go back to the place of understand the power. Can I just challenge you on today? This holy week, get some oil, anoint your children, speak a blessing over their lives, uh, call it out. Uh, yes, God, I decree and declare that they will be who you call them to be. Come on here, Minister Margaret. God bless you, woman of God. I decree and declare that the blood uh, still works. Uh, I decree and declare, get them children, grown children, young children, get them at your feet. And I'm trying to tell you, ain't nothing like it. I used to do it and I need to do it again. I would tell them, especially during Holy Week, come on over here and sit down at mama feet. My son, you know, is six, six, uh, six, six, you know, big boy. Uh, 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 but listen, I said, get big man, get on down at my feet and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this oil. 
Mm. And I would anoint his head with oil. And then I would just call out. I would call out uh, the spirit of God. I would call out the anointed. I would bless him. When's the last time you blessed your children? When's the last time you blessed your mate? When's the last time you lifted them up with kind words? When's the last time that you called them what you want to see? That they are a prophet of the Lord's house. The, that they are a servant in God's house. That they are a disciple. My God. That their feet will never leave astray. Oh my God. See, you got to take the time out and minister in your own household. Be a priest in your own house today. Begin to speak over everything. I mean, everything. Listen, open up the door. Anything that ain't like God got to go. Cast it out. Say, you got to go. Say, you can't stay up in here. You can't cause no confusion up over here. The only thing that remains in this house is peace. The only thing that remains in this house is joy. The only thing that's happening in this house, come on here, is a love fest USA. I decree and declare we in holy week. Holy week, let's keep it holy. Do you hear me? But it comes laying prostrate. Change your position. Have a position of prayer. Have a position of prayer. It don't take all day, but just how, when's the last time you lay prostrate out before the Lord? When's the last time that you just, I said, take 12 minutes. Y'all hear me, everybody. Take 12. Take 12. Put that on the screen. Take 12. What does that mean? Take 12 minutes. It's divine order. God, as I lay out before you, I want you to take whatever's out of order and put it back into order. Whatever, ain't, listen, wherever I need you to come on here, be the chiropractor of my life. I need you to go ahead and make the adjustment. Uh, I, if I could do it, I would have did it already by myself. But I need you to come on here. Be the chiropractor over my life. I feel some things is out of joint. I feel like I'm not walking straight as I should. Am I talking to anybody on today? Somebody say, God, I need you to be the chiropractor of my life. Oh, get me in order. 12 minutes of prayer. Lay out and listen. You ain't even got to say, I don't know what to say, Dr. Remy. The, I want you to lay out and this is what you need to say, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, that's it. That Lord, have mercy. I promise to tell you the truth. Uh, fix me, God. Whatever area that needs fixing, fix me. Uh, fix this situation and then lay and be quiet. Wait for the answers. That's when answers come. Uh, that's when your mind gets clear. That's when you can think again. See, we run to psychiatrists. We run to our besties. We run to everybody else. But I want you to lay, especially Holy Week, you got an appointment with the king of the universe. Good God, I reckon. I, if I was you, it's a Moedim in the Hebrew. It means I have an appointment with God. Somebody said, I will not miss my appointment with God. This appointment's too important. I can't delay it. God has given me access. It's Holy Week. Oh, oh my God. Uh, the thing that separated us from uh, God, uh, from the throne, throne room has been torn in half. My God, I got access to the throne room of grace and I'm going behind the veil. How do you get there? I'm so glad your ass. Uh, how do I get there? I lay prostrate. I lay out before the Lord. I'm telling you it's one thing to have a quick prayer, to, to go ahead. Uh, it's okay to pray in the shower. It's okay. Come on here, wherever it is, uh, in the car. It's all, that's all good. But right now, in this season, underneath an open heaven, I want you to lay prostrate. I got to do it myself. Lay out before the Lord and say, Lord, I come before you humbly as I know how. I need your grace and your mercy. I, I need your hands on me. I, I, I need clarity of my thoughts. I need clarity of my mind. I need, uh, oh, he's a way maker. Yes, he is. Oh, I got to go. I got to go. Listen, I decree and declare, uh, listen, that nothing. I I, I call uh, the right mates in uh, for my adult children. I, I, I call the right teachers in for my younger teach children. I, I, I call in, come on here, the right friends that they hang out with. God, I decree and declare that I call in the right partners. I call them in from the north. Uh, I call them in from the south, but I'm going to call them in because why I got power and authority. I know y'all not trying to listen, uh, but I decree and declare you don't hear nothing else. Uh, I will not miss my appointment with God. Uh, I, I've got a set time to meet with them and I'm in my set time, my set season. My, mo uh, my Moedim is here. Uh, there 
there's an open heaven. He said, I'm giving you favor. My favor, my grace is sufficient. Oh my God. Uh, uh, oh, my favor. I'm opening up doors. I stand with you, Minister Margaret. I stand with those right now. The dreams, the visions. You want the property? I decree and declare we call it forth. God, God, my footsteps. Bring the uh, 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 wisdom and knowledge of where to and how to. Somebody should say that. Bring me to the place of where to and how to. I decree and declare. I'm not looking at my pocketbook. I'm not looking at the situation, but I decree and declare he'll give me the best for less. Yes, he will. He'll give me what I need when I need it. And it is so. Come on, let me say this and we got to go. I declare a legacy faith over my life. That's where I started with. That Dr. Alberta Johnson, for as long as I live, I will remember the legacy that I would not be who I am without that woman. Dr. Alberta Johnson. God bless you, Ambassador Charnette Pearson. I, it was good to see you the other day. We speak increase. Legacy blessing. Your children's children going to be blessed. Listen, I declare that legacy faith over my life. I declare that I will store up blessings for future generations. I'm store. You got credit, baby. These prayers that you're putting up is timber. For future generations. Yes. My life is marked by excellence and integrity. Somebody should say so. My life is marked by integrity. Come on here. My life is marked by excellence. Because I'm making right choices and taking steps of faith. We can talk faith, but faith will cause you to move, baby. You can talk faith all day long, but faith will cause you to have to do something. Show up. Write it down. Go after it. Talk about it. Speak it into existence. Yeah, I'm taking steps of faith. Others will want to follow me. See, your life becomes a, 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 a faith walk. And people will see the manifestation of what you talking is now and what you walk in. And now they say, listen, I want to follow you. I'm speaking to every leader that's on this day. Your life, absolutely, Ambassador Sage, it's marked. Come on here. God bless you, Ambassador Peggy Jones Briggs. Thank you for joining me. God's abundance is surrounding my life today. God, I live in the overflow. I live in a place called done. It's already worked out for me. Uh, it's been released in the spiritual realm. And now, Sharna, it's manifesting in the natural. That which was spoken a long time ago, years over my life, is now manifested. I decree and declare that the things that God had planned for you back then is happening now. You're in your now season. Come on through here. Somebody say, I'm in my now season. Oh, my God. God's abundance is surrounding my life today. I live in overflow. God has a plan for my life. Oh my God, I'm excited about it. Somebody just come on here. This is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Your challenge is to live in such a way as to cause others to win. I'm done. Your challenge on today is to live in such a way that it causes other people to win. Why? Because you encourage them that if you can get through this, so can they. If you can do that, then so can they. I decree and declare that this is the season, my God, that you're living at a level that will cause other people, not just you, but other people who watch your life, other people that see you come back up out of the ashes, other people that see you fall and get back up again. Come on here. Other people who see you living your best life win right now. Y'all need to come on here. I decree and declare my life, Eki Shia, is to live in such a way that it causes other people's faith to be increased. See, that's where we got to get to it. Jesus did all of that during Holy Week, completed his assignment. So that what? Uh, others can win. That's why we got to become sacrificial. That's why we got to love people through it. Even the people that are hard to love. Even the people that act like they don't know you. That they be front street all day. It don't even matter. Don't you come down. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. You're on assignment. Don't you come down. Don't you let no hatred or no bitterness get in your heart. No, no, no. Speak life. I decree and declare today is full of God's grace, 
his mercy. I can't help but to love you. He, My love tank is so full when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. Listen, there ain't no man or woman could be able to fill my love tank because I already got it filled up. Do you hear what I'm saying? All I got is love for you. Why? Because he filled me up. Fill my cup, Lord. Let it overflow. Well, I pray that this message has blessed you. If you just getting on, you need to go back and watch it again. I dedicated this to my grandmother, Dr. Alberta Johnson, one of the most anointed women on this side of heaven ever. And now she is in the place that she worked so hard for in heaven. Amen. But her legacy lives on. It lives on through me. It lives on through you, all of my spiritual children, all my natural children, and to all those that I mentor, it lives on through you. And so I dedicate uh, this. 10 at 10, all on the basis that I'm so grateful that she left a legacy of faith. And that model, I pray that you'll do the same. Do you hear what I'm, I'm telling you? Uh, live a legacy of faith. I, I promise to tell you the truth. God is good and his mercy. God bless you, Ambassador Gail. I love all of y'all. You hear what I'm saying? That's your grandma's name. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Normally, normally, this would be a hard day for me. Uh, this would be a day uh, that I would be all emotional. But the Lord met me this morning. Can I give you my private testimony? The Lord met me this morning and he said, aren't you happy that she left you a legacy of faith? When I, when I began to think about how she taught me how to pray, how she taught me how to do a uh, Passover, the Seder meal, and you can join me for my Seder experience on Saturday. We have the Seder egg hunt. I, I can think back of all the kids that would be all over the place playing softball, egg hunt. Uh, uh, she created a culture, an environment that was safe and that was full of faith, that was oh so godly. And I'm so grateful. Do you hear me? But we've got to keep it going on. We have a responsibility to anoint our children, speak life over them, create an environment. Come on here, set and make memories. There's enough hell going on all around the world, but I decree and declare we need more love and it's going to happen with you. Come on here. You're the only Christ that they'll see. Uh, they'll see that Christ within you. Let's have a plan. Go ahead. Let's talk about resurrection morning. Let's go ahead. Let's go on to play the, uh, the, uh, 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 the passion of the Christ. God, I need my passion back. Uh, I'm whining about too many things that it really don't even matter. Come on here. He went through all of that. We got to teach our children's children from every generation to be saved and set free. Ain't nothing being lost. Nothing lost and nothing stolen. Y'all put that on the screen. Come on here. Nothing lost and nothing stolen. I want everybody to get your seed and I want you to sow this thing. Do you hear me? Sow it. Whatever the Lord is speaking to you, sow it. But sow it on this. A, a faith legacy. A legacy of faith is what I'm leaving. This seed Mm -mm -mm. This is my faith seed. This seed, my God, I'm going to leave a living legacy of faith. I'm going to leave, I'm going to live my life in such a way that causes other people to win. <laughs> Nothing lost, nothing stolen. The enemy might be trying to come after your stuff, but he can't take it. And then anything that he took, he got to give it back with interest. Do you hear what I'm saying? God bless you, woman of God. Delnora Van Roel, thank you for joining me, Ambassador. Thank you. It's so good to have you on. Will you do me a favor? If you're sowing a seed today, put the seed in the ground. It's Holy Week. My God, we are springing forth. We're springing forth. Do not miss your assignment. Get it out right now. Use the cash app. I decree and declare I am a, a part of your birthing circle. I get up on here so that I can encourage you. Keep going, baby. We got strategy. We got seed in the ground. Water, my God. Anytime it rains, you ain't mad when you got seed in the ground. Something is about to happen and it's going to be big. Come on here. I'm sowing in my legacy. Come on here. I decree and declare it's a win. We, somebody got to be the gatekeeper. Somebody got to be able to cover. Somebody has got to be able to pray and can see. 
Somebody got to have the wisdom. God, teach me how. Teach me how to encourage. Teach me how uh, to love them uh, despite of the things that they're saying and doing. Teach me how to be excellent and to show up and be timely. Come on, teach me how to be able to model well. My God, that I got an emotional plan. My God, absolutely. We need more gatekeepers. We need people. You got to build stuff, my God, so that they ain't got to go to outside places. We the gatekeeper. Your name should be so good, baby, that they could be able to use your name and get in to the next place that they need to be able to go. That's what I'm talking about. Sowing the seed on this word for my legacy. I decree and declare. Let's make it happen. If you sowing the seed, say, I'm sowing seed, Dr. Remy, now. I decree there's a now blessing. But this thing is bigger than me. I, I got to live. This thing is bigger than me. I got to keep going. Why? Because they coming up behind me. Do you hear me? Oh my God, I got to keep it going. Somebody prayed for me. Now I got to pray for somebody. I love y'all with my whole heart. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm so excited. Last night I was teaching. They didn't record it, but it was so good. This is my sidebar. Uh, uh, I turned around and, and you know, we're getting ready to come up tomorrow where the women got the spices, you know, they got the spices to be able to go in and deal with the body. And because I'm a midwife, I understood uh, that what took place to prep the body was the woman with the alabaster box and the oil. I'm going to preach that thing uh, uh, with the midwives. So all y'all midwives that's on here, there's a fresh rainbow word that's coming. Good God. And then the spices, we got the spices. Come on here. We got to know the ingredients for success. Uh, we got to be able to preserve life. The enemy's coming for life, but per preservation of life. They're spiritual, like the enemy's trying to come and kill, steal, and destroy. But he said that I came, yeah, that you might have life and that more abundantly. Christ came. And I'm trying to tell you, this oil, the spices, God, teach me. Teach me how to preserve life. Teach me how to preserve the body. Pre teach me how to preserve uh, uh, the sanctuary. Come on here. There's so much revelation to learn. I love y'all with my whole heart. I got to go. Ain't that good, baby? I promise you it's coming. Listen, we getting ready to work on uh, the new midwife book, and that's going to be in there, but dealing with the oil and the spices. He called the women for it to be able to do that. And I'm trying to tell you, there's something about knowing how to do that thing. Come, come up here with the concoction that caused the healing, that caused the uh, healing on the sad, that when they're brokenhearted, when they're frustrated, when they're angry, come on here. We got to learn how to preserve the body. See, I promise to tell you the truth. I was uh, able to get down on my, uh, uh, on my uh, knees before my grandmother. I wouldn't have to say a word. I I just laid my head on her lap, you know, and she would just rub my head by the time she wouldn't even ask me. She wouldn't even say nothing, but God gave her a spirit of discernment. She knew how to lay hands on me and pray for me. And when I got up, whatever I went down with, I didn't get back up with it. I'm talking about going after that kind of legacy blessing that our children may not be able to tell us, but we can sense it. And then we can tap in and the Holy Spirit will reveal what's really going on. They're going through too much, y'all. We got to be able to leave a legacy blessing. We got to be able to be an intervention. We got to be an intercessor. Come on here. I got to go before I lose it right there. It's been real good being with y'all, but I decree and declare legacy blessing is, is in your DNA. Pass it on. Pass the word on. Pass this video on. Share it with somebody. I love you. Y'all have a super blessed day and I'll check you out on tomorrow. Seven places where Jesus bled is going to be on at 12 noon on tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. You know, hear what I'm saying. And then you need to hear me on Saturday. We're having the Passover experience, our Seder meal, our communal table. Uh, uh, listen, and then we're going to have a Seder egg hunting. Them kids going to have a great time and we're going to leave a living legacy. Pass it on unto all generations. Mm, peace out. This is your midwife. Listen, breathe, baby, breathe. Your midwife is on duty. This is Dr. Remy signing off. I love y'all. Go on and live your best life. Win right now. Bye-bye.